The New Mutants is directed by Josh Boone and is the long-awaited and somewhat anticipated final film in the Fox X-Men Cinematic Universe and is about these five mutant teenagers who are in this hospital being treated and trying to understand and learn their powers and when this new mutant comes, some sinister stuff starts happening to all these kids in regards to their deepest, darkest secrets of their past and now they have to stop it before it kills them. And this film, if you don't know, has been deemed cursed all over the internet. It was filmed three summers ago. The first trailer came out October 20. 2017 for an April 2018 release. It was then pushed back to February 2019 for reshoots and then it was pushed back to August 2019 because of Dark Phoenix and then it was eventually taken off the calendar in general and then in January 2020 it was finally rescheduled for April 2020. We thought we were finally gonna get it and then the pandemic came and now it is finally released in August of 2020. The new mutants can be put to rest and honestly all of the hype of the delays this movie didn't really deserve it because at the end this movie just kind of fell flat. And it was mainly because at the core this movie just felt empty. Because when watching the movie, it felt like a lot was left on the table with its characters, their arcs, the plot of this movie, and even to the proposed horror element that this movie was going to have. And I think it was mainly due to its shortened runtime and the script, because this movie is at 90 minutes. And I really did like the shortened runtime of this movie because I thought the movie felt rather fast, it wasn't painful to get through. But because of that, the movie didn't have time to flesh out a lot of the new characters, which is important for this type of movie because we don't know this team of five characters prior to this this movie, so we have to be introduced to and care about these characters, and sadly, because of the short runtime, mostly all of the characters' arcs and relationships are sadly cut short. The only character arc or relationship I did like was between the main character Moonstar and Macy Williams' character Rain, mainly because that character relationship was the only character relationship in the entire movie, and so because of that, it was really hard to care about a lot of the characters, because the majority of the characters are rather one note, mainly because the defining factors for a lot of the characters are their darkest fears that we are then exposed to throughout the this movie and maybe for two or three of the five characters their fears are just shown to us in one scene moments and then the movie just moves on with itself and it doesn't go back to these fears I feel like and I feel like if the movie brought together all of their fears a little bit more it really could have had a defining moment of bringing all the characters fears together and them working with each other trying to defeat this entity at the end of the movie but really the movie doesn't have time for that and it was really hard to care about a lot of the characters because their performances in this movie they're not the best and I think it's mainly due to the accents that we have in this movie because this movie is accents galore. Anna Taylor Joy is in this movie and I really respect her as an actress and she plays a Russian character in this movie and I really thought that her Russian accent really hurt her character because her accent extremely varied from being very tame to ultimately very extreme and this really hurt with some wonky dialogue especially in the end when she has to talk to a bear and she goes hey Yogi or lions and tigers and bears oh my it was really eye roll inducing. And Charlie Heaton is also in this movie from Stranger Things fame and he plays a character that sounds like the generic hateful, stereotypical, racist southern character, but no, his character is just southern, and I thought his accent really took him out of the movie for me. And Macy Williams is also in this movie, and I thought her accent was rather extreme, until I realized that's just her accent, so I can't really make fun of her because of it. But I felt like a lot of the character of this movie felt weak, and didn't really hope that the plot of this movie wasn't really that strong, in which the movie had a good first half, and then when it tried to build to something climactic at the end, the movie just kind of throws a lot of stuff at us, it doesn't have a congruent threat that we think, oh, this is what we should fear, because because we have the fear of everyone's deepest, darkest fears that eventually try to kill them, and then there's also the potential of Dr. Reyes, who's presented as a potential threat, who eventually, they don't really do that much with their character by the end of the movie, and the plot just fizzles out to the mutants trying to use their powers to defeat this evil by the end of the movie that I don't really know or care about, and it's a shame because this movie promised a lot of horror elements, and I feel like it was mainly due to the studio and potential reshoots that really dampered this movie's horror elements, because Fox originally didn't want that many horror elements, and then Josh Boone delivered what actually we got. Fox didn't like it, and so they wanted reshoots, but the reshoots never happened. So this release film is the original film shoot with not as much horror elements that Josh Boone originally wanted. And I think that's a shame because everyone's fears had great potential for good horror in this movie, but in the end, none of the horror elements actually made an impact. They felt fairly weak and just surface level. The only horror element I actually did like was Anna Taylor Joy's fear with these smiley faced creatures. I really liked that aspect and the design, but everyone else's fears you didn't really care about. I never felt that they were really scared scary and this movie doesn't promise on any of the horror aspect that one might think of in the new mutants. Cause just like the horror, the characters and the story of this movie are very surface level on the table. That felt like a lot was left out due to the shooting and because that we have a very tame movie that has a lot of potential because I can't really say there's another movie like this that is a teen superhero horror movie. It is really very unique and because of that I feel like I'm slightly disappointed because there's not that much to really like about this movie. It does have a few good character relationships, some potential horror aspects that I did a 
appreciate. I did like the short 90 minute runtime, but besides that, there's really not too much to say about the new mutant. And this movie is definitely going to be remembered for the long history behind it instead of the actual movie itself. And so I can say that the new mutants is just meh. So that's the new mutants. What do you guys think? Have you seen the movie? Have you not seen the movie? Whatever you think, you put the comments below and maybe I'll read it. Maybe I won't. Thank you as always for watching. And if you haven't, you click my last video right over here and you can click my upcoming video right over here. Thank you as always for watching and hope to see you next time.